Bobby Miner here with C3 Church Marketing, and what I want to talk about today are church websites. I can sugarcoat it, but I'm not. The fact is, most church websites are horrible. They're completely ineffective, and in many cases, they do more harm than good. And why do I say that? In this day and age of technology, people are becoming computer literate and computer savvy, internet savvy, at an earlier age and at an older age. Um, the window has expanded greatly. My five-year-old son just got his first report card for kindergarten and I learned through his grades that they're actually graded on their technical ability. They, they are graded on how they can identify the parts of a computer, um, even identify the purpose of the internet. So it's starting at an earlier age. And here's what this means to you as a pastor or a leader in a church. Um, you have heard the saying, you only have one chance to make a first impression. And that's true for a lot of people, not always necessarily true all the time. But most people, I would say upwards of 80%, most people will check out your church website long before they ever show up on a Sunday morning. And if you think about that, think of all the people that are looking for a church right now that maybe have heard something about your church and they check, they check out your church website and it is completely outdated. The aesthetics of it are horrible. Um, the content is not current. There's way too much stuff going on. Um, all, the, all the languaging on the site is really designed for people that are already a part of your culture. And it makes no sense to someone that's unchurched. Think of all the things that an unchurched person would probably see if they saw your church website. And then ask yourself. You have to completely remove yourself from, from anything that has to do with church. And look at your church website through the eyes of the unchurched. For most of us, it would not be something that I think we, we would be jumping up and down for joy with, saying that we can't wait to show up on a Sunday morning. Um, at my church, we actually had a couple that, they checked out our website for four weeks, for four weeks, and I actually watched a video that we have on there um, that takes people inside of, of our church walls and shows them what we're all about. I'm going to talk about that on a later video. But they checked out our website for four weeks, watched the video four times before they ever decided to show up. And then once they did, they were blown away and they're, they're with us today. But my point is, think of all the people that check out your church website that you never know about, that you never see, that you never have the chance to make that first impression in person. It's something to think about. I'm not a web developer. I don't work for a web, web company. Um, I have lots of relationships with, with different um, programming people and web designers that I work with. And what I do is I try to find the best fit for you to turn your website from something that really serves no purpose whatsoever into a powerful evangelism and outreach tool that you can use as, as a great first step um, in connecting those unchurched people in your community to your church and ultimately, uh, ultimately to Christ. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.